welcome to this vlog everybody i'm about to get ready do my makeup i am feeling like eh right now because my hair isn't that weird in between like you know after you shower and it's like half wet half dry and like puffy and looks dumb that's how i feel once i put on makeup i'll feel better also i haven't vlogged for the past like two days because i still have some bruising from getting my lips done if you can see it's basically all like right here so it's not bad i feel like makeup but yeah i like didn't vlog or really go in public <laughs> much of the past two days because i don't know <laughs> kind of like punched in the face anyway um we're gonna make up together now it's gonna be so fun let's put back my hair it's probably kind of dumb but oh well they're quite functional okay i feel like i need to talk about makeup for a sec as an ode to the original GLB and I actually think I've been getting comments recently being like your makeup looks so good So let's do our makeup together for a sec. I won't show too much because that gets boring But I'll just give you little details here and there. I've been using this it cosmetics like foundation brush concealer Side like under my eyes for a while, but right now I'm going to use I've also been using these sponges that Lucy got me for Christmas She got me like a big pack on Amazon. I can link them for you guys and um, They're just really good. I get them wet and they're really just good at like blending your makeup and like cheaper than beauty blenders And I feel like do such a good job if not better I was really good at washing mine with like a beauty blender soap right after I'd use it like every time for a while And clearly this needs a wash because it started off as light yellow like that's so gross also Another thing I've been loving, I got this in PR from YSL Beauty, the All Hours Foundation, and I love it. I feel like it makes my face so nice. So, we're gonna start with that. I already did like moisturizer, stuff like that. I feel like I kind of use a lot. I like that it's like thin. I feel, if you can tell, like it's like dripping on my face. I feel like it is like medium sheer coverage. Oh, I did like the face tanning drops on my face, so this is looking so light. But when I do my like bronzer and everything, you'll see it'll all blend in. <laughs> <laughs> this looks crazy. Okay, so it's actually afternoon right now. I'm getting ready because I went to Orange Theory pretty early and then I was just like doing work in, on my computer and stuff during the day. And I'm so excited I'm going all ready because it's actually Max's fake birthday celebration round two. Pretty much he was away for his birthday on a road trip for hockey and uh, was actually sick, like so sick the day after his birthday and while he was away like in the hotel like throwing up and stuff, which is the worst. And I just feel like we had his like fake, this is not working out. We had his fake birthday celebrations uh the day before his birthday so i just feel like we didn't get to do like a dinner or anything because it was super bowl and so we're gonna go out to dinner and more presents like champagne stuff like that so yeah you know you guys know me i love a any reason to celebrate so it'll be so much fun i'm gonna cut my last leg of my contour wand right here but if you guys remember when i was like freaking out making max's cake last minute anxiety for his game which turned out so good and it was so fun i was saying i feel like i just got him like junky little presents because the one that i wanted i didn't realize it was gonna be so hard to get my hands on so that's like a whole other thing um but i got other good ones that i was actually like just wrapping up before doing my makeup right now and i'll show you guys after i do my makeup because it turned out so cute I'm like half whispering because Max is kind of like napping out there. But also, I don't want him to hear me talking about like his presents and stuff. We're going to try um, a new restaurant tonight. We've actually never been over to Easton. And we've lived here in Allentown for like, what, over two and a half years now? And Easton's like close to us and really cute. Everyone we know tells us to like go over there. It's like cute to like explore. It's kind of raining, so I don't know if we can really explore. But some of our friends like favorite restaurants are over there. So we have like two in mind. If you guys live here, Three Oak, it's like a steakhouse, which is what I feel like we normally do for birthday celebrations. But then there's also a Italian restaurant um, that our one friend like loves so much called Sete Luna. So I'm like, Max, you can just decide like game time decision because I think we'll just like walk in at either one, which hopefully is okay. It's a Friday, we'll go early, it'll be fine. Also, we're like, we could like sit at the bar, like that could be a fun vibe. So we'll see how that works out. I'm back to my tried and true, you guys. I used this for like 10 years. The Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer. I used the Kosas one for a while. I love that one too. Um, but I just ran out and I had this one to use up. So I was like, okay, I'm just gonna use this up before I buy. I'd probably buy the Kosas one again. I don't know, but this is good too. I'm so like not picky with makeup. I just have a couple favorites and like I'll use any of them, you know. Try to put some concealer on that bruise. <laughs> Get rid of it. 
I feel like I always kind of put foundation over my lips. I don't know if anyone else has that. That's probably like weird. You're probably not supposed to, but I kind of like how it'll make my lips all in color. And then I feel like whatever lip product I put on goes on like smoother. I don't know if anyone knows what I'm talking about. We're gonna bake. I feel like my camera just got so bright. Okay. I feel like this is relatively new for me. Like I didn't bake for the longest time. And then probably like many of you, I saw Alex Earl do it and I was like, well, her makeup always looks really good. Oh, that's a lot. So let's try it out. I don't know if I really notice a difference. Probably brightens up under my eyes a little bit. <laughs> it looks so scary. And I kind of do it right there. I don't know if I am doing this right. You guys can leave your opinions. I don't know if I want to invite your opinions, but no, you can leave your your opinions or your feedback on my makeup. Like I probably don't do it perfectly perfect, but works for me. I've been getting so many nice comments and like DMs about my eyebrows recently, which is just the nicest compliment in the world to me because that used to be like my number one hate. If any of you have followed me for long enough, maybe you'd remember that. <laughs> you didn't know bro. he's been hanging out with us this whole time. Do you wanna leave? Okay, bye. <laughs> but I used to be so insecure about my eyebrows. They were just always really sparse. Like it's literally how I was born. Like they just were never good. Lucy got the good eyebrows. Hers have always been so thick and nice. She like barely needs to touch them. But mine really struggled for a while. And I also, you know, should take some credit. In the beginning of college and in high school, I plucked them so far apart, like whatever. Everyone used to be like very mean about my eyebrows, but recently people were like, they look so good, queen. And I'm like, you don't know how much that means because I used to like cry on my eyebrows, but I got them microbladed. Long story short, if you guys missed that, I went to a place outside of Boston, um, Moco Beauty. I believe it's called and I saw Rob and he does such a good job and so they're good as is but I kind of just fill them in like a little more when I'm doing a full makeup look but I just love that they look done and really nice and like most days I don't put anything like over them just if I want them to be like a little more bold you know but I love how they kind of fade like microblading when you first get them done like they were so crazy looking I'm like I don't know about this but they fade and I like that they kind of fade because they just look more natural like no one would ever know really that I got a microbladed unless you looked up really really close or you had microbladed eyebrows yourself you would be like oh. you know what i mean it's kind of like lip filler well mine probably are pretty <laughs> noticeable now that i just got another full syringe but i feel like you only notice it on other people if like you have it yourself like i got asked once a girl was like did you get your eyebrows microbladed and i was like yes and i was actually like happy she noticed because i was like yeah i did it like i love that you should do it but like no one else has ever really noticed i feel like we're just gonna like blend in the bake again. I don't really know what it is, how I'm supposed to do it. I feel like I see people do it all sorts of different ways. And I used to do this and then I would do like cream blush on top and my cousin Mandy was like, no, you're supposed to do all the creams and then the powders and I don't know. So I'm just gonna do my little blush right now. Whoop. This is so pigmented, this buxom one. It's in the color Mykonos and it's so like peachy and pretty looking, but like, oh my God. It's so pigmented. Wow, that's so like early beauty guru days of me to be like, it's so pigmented. <laughs> you know, you know. Okay, that looks kind of crazy right now. I'm gonna fix it. I also feel like this lighting isn't good. Like it's kind of like downcast, but at the end I can show you and I feel like it'll be better. Got this massive bronzer from Charlotte Tilbury and I really like it. Just gonna bronze on top. Okay, I go kind of crazy with the bronzer, but I've been feeling quite pale recently, so <laughs> that's just what we're doing. You guys also know that I've been doing laser hair removal, and um, you're really not supposed to self-tan, or like you really can't be in the sun at all, like I don't do that, um, but you're really not supposed to self-tan either, and like you will just get burns from the laser if it picks up on like a difference in the pigment between your, if it like if it doesn't pick up on that. So I think how the laser works is it picks up on the difference in pigment between your skin and like the hair follicle. So that's why it works best if you have like very fair skin and like dark hair. So like naturally that's perfect for me because I have like dark brown hair and like very fair skin. But even self tan can mess that up. So if you're like really self tan, you can also get burns. But I've been bad recently and sometimes I'll self tan because I'm like, I can't do it. I'm just peak paleness, it's February. Like I don't have any on right now, I just feel so pale. So sometimes I'll self tan like right after I get a treatment so that I have five full weeks for it to like go away because then I feel like I'm fully pale again by the next one. Um, but yeah, I feel 
like I'm about to sell tan because I'm feeling ah! I'm so excited right now because my mom is coming to visit tomorrow. I feel like she has not visited here in like literally a year. It's been so long. It's like perfect timing because Max has two home hockey games this weekend. So she'll be able to see two home games. So that's kind of how we like planned it out that way. I might even start a new vlog tomorrow. I feel like she needs her own vlog um, for the weekend. And I feel like this one's already gonna be so long. I'm chatting so much at the beginning here. And I feel like we have such a fun night to share. Um, but I'm also getting so excited because next week Brody and I are gonna leave Boston and we're gonna visit my sister Lucy in Boston for honestly probably like a week It's nice that I'm driving because I can just be like oh, I'll stay as long as I want and leave whenever Oh, I also need to figure out my parking situation I need to like do some research because last time I paid like hundreds of dollars for it to be in a garage And I feel like you can do street parking, but then you got to move it and certain times of days and you Know the vibe so I have to like Using this little highlighter tickle from Benefit. I feel like Alex Earl uses this one too. I didn't even know that, but then my cousin Mandy told me she's the one that like got me into Alex Earl. And I watched a bunch of her TikToks to like learn how to do makeup because I don't really know what I'm doing. But yeah, I think this is like the highlighter she uses and I really like it. Also, I have no idea what I'm gonna wear to dinner tonight. And we're gonna go like in an hour, so I need to hurry this up. And figure that out. Did I already say this? I hope Max likes his presents. <laughs> I'm nervous. <laughs> like he will, but you know. This is my favorite spot to put highlighter, by the way. On the end of my nose, I feel like it just makes it look cute. <laughs> okay, this has quickly become a recent favorite of mine. ColourPop Lippy Pencil in O Snap. I can try to link this to you. I feel like they have it at Ulta. This consistency of like this lip pencil is so creamy. It's so nice. Like it just glides on so nice. To me, it's like, I, oh gosh, okay, I need to <laughs> be careful. I don't know what I'm doing. I've been, but I'm lip liner. <laughs> I got lip filler. Like after I started getting lip filler, I'm like, where am I supposed to draw this? But um, I feel like the color is kind of like Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk. But like even better on me, like even a little more mauve and a little less pink, you know? So I've been loving this. This is like all of my makeup. I'm just gonna like, Fill this in, you know, blend it out with my fingers, use setting spray, and I think that was all the makeup I do. Yeah. Oh, and this is the best mascara ever. You guys need this. Literally has changed my life. I think I started using it in like mm, October, November, December, and I think it was in my best purchases video. You need this. It's so good. Thrive Cosmetics, please work with me because I am your number one fan and my eyelashes have never looked so good and taking off my mascara has never been easier. And like literally just like, it just crossed off like all my boxes in one that I was looking for in mascara. Makes my eyelashes look really good, comes off very easily and it doesn't run under my eyes. It's the best mascara ever. Okay, I'm gonna like finish my lips off camera because I feel like I can't talk into it at the same time. And I'll show you when we're done. I think I use enough setting spray. <laughs> but this is the finished look. See, I feel like, yeah, like the lighting, I don't know about the lighting in here. But here you go, see, now I like match my body. I feel like I bronzed it up enough. Also doing my lips was like such an issue since I haven't done lip products since I've gotten lip filler. I feel like you can see the bruise like maybe a little bit, but I felt like my lip liner was going all over the place and I was trying to clean it up and I ended up just putting this Fenty like lip gloss on top to try to make it look fine and blend it all together. I think it looks okay now. And I also use, which you didn't see, a white elf eyeliner and this It Cosmetics like shadow stick that's brown that I kind of do like underneath my eyes, look a little smoky, I don't, not smoky, like just like a little definition, you know? So that's it. Now I gotta dry my hair, like blow it out a little bit. Already, Max is just getting ready now and I wanted to shout out the sponsor of this video. Thank you so much Casetify for working with me on this video. This is the current Casetify case that I have on my phone. This is just the bounce case, which as you can see has extra protection in the corners, which I need since I'm so clumsy. I drop my phone like every day. It actually is drop tested approved for drops up to 21.3 feet. Isn't that insane? 
Like this one is so protective, so slim while being so protective. It's actually five times the military grade drop protection. And they have so many different designs to choose from. I think it's over 2000 designs they have to choose from on their website. And they have like exclusive artist collaborations. You can customize them with your name. Here are some other cases that I've gotten recently. They all have the mag safe charger compatibility, which is so nice. I finally have one of those wireless chargers. I didn't have it for the longest time. And I'm like, where have I been? It makes charging my phone so nice. Um, but obviously this is another bounce case you can see it just has like the extra protection in the corners like i was talking about like a clear kind of like what's that called translucent transparent black one this is just a clear case this one i think is so cute with all like the cowgirl boots this one's custom with my name i love this print just like the flowers and here is a phone charm god knows i need it especially when i'm on the go since i'm always dropping my phone but they have like really cute phone accessories like phone charms and i have this like gold strap too that can like go across body or whatever if you're at like a music festival it's so nice if you're like hiking you know stuff like that you can just kind of wear it also their phone cases you guys i was about to be like can you tell no you can't tell but they're made up of 65 percent recycled materials which is so nice and with recase to buy they've actually recycled 51,000 phone cases which is insane and i love that they do that because if you think about it like people are always getting new phone cases when they have new phones case by has a new iphone 14 phone cases so i just love that they do that so i'll have case by link down below you guys know case by phone cases are the only cases that i ever have on my phone ever i've had them on my phones for years like i've only had case by cases since the seven <laughs> like way back when but yes my link is stay the same so you guys go to casefy.com slash gretchen you'll get 15 percent off your order casefy.com slash gretchen don't forget this one is so cute. I love this little print. Again, for the millionth time, I always say this, but like they're the best cases because they're so slim that you barely even like notice the cases there while being so protective. Cute, we love it. Didn't show them my outfit yet. We're both doing all black. I feel like we always do stuff like this. Yay, fake birthday round two. Expecto Patronum. <laughs> what does that mean in Harry Potter? Do you know what that spell means? Yeah, the Patronus charm. What does it mean? It like, I don't know. It has a thingamajig. <laughs> Which one does it mean? Know, you know, I'm sure one of them knows. The, uh, that's a real fan. That's watching. Yeah, with the light and the dementos. You know, the dementos. Oh, it makes the dementos go away. Yeah. Is that what that one does? Yeah. That one sounds familiar to me. We have a real Harry Potter fan right here. Any of you watching? Any Harry Potter any of fans? their boyfriends got the new Harry Potter game. Let us know. In the I comments down below. But here's our outfits. Um, this is old from Revolve. Cuts T, of course. The fave. These jeans I literally just took off the tags. They just came in the mail. And I love them. They're from Blank NYC. Thanks, Blank, for sending these over. And they have little slits in the knees. They're like wide leg. And I actually don't have like any jeans this kind of material anymore. I feel like mine are all that like thick, like not stretchy kind of jean, you know? And these are like stretchy and nice. And I'm like, oh, these are gonna be good when I'm trying to eat a big dinner. <laughs> and then these boots I also just opened from Dulce Vida, just little suede black booties. I'm gonna grab a black little bag. You wanna give us an outfit of the night? Um, Common Projects, Lulu, Lulu, Stay in Liberty. Who got you the Common Projects? I don't know. Cute girl. <laughs> also, I feel like my lips are lipping. I don't know about that. I feel like they're still swollen, but they're kind of like take up half my face, you know? Mm hmm. I don't like them. You like them? Love them. Oh, good. Okay, that makes me feel better. Oh, also, I was just thinking too, I was going to say when I was showing the case by cases, you have been getting compliments on your case by case. I have. Remember? I think it was Gracie. Oh, there you go. Guys, his is so cool. Can you this see? Green. It's like. Yeah, like a dark green. Oh, there you go. And you can see it has his number yeah. in black. We love it. Very cool. Very Wait, that cool. would actually be such a good gift for your teammates. Like if you had to, I don't know, give them a <laughs> gift. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. They would love that with their number on it. Or I guess your number changes like from yeah. year to year sometimes. So then that yeah. would be hard. But other than that. Okay, are we ready for presents? Let's do it. Oh, yeah, I forgot what we were doing. Oh, you're like ready to go to dinner. Yeah. I'm like, just yeah, wait. I'm hungry. <laughs> you ready? Birthday boy. We said we weren't doing gifts this year. First, <laughs> you may recognize this from being in the fridge for a while. Wow! But it's only fitting. Where did you get this? It has been in the fridge. Oh. <laughs> I can't. 
Champagne. But you have to Champagne. pop it since it's your birthday celebration. It's like a mini little something something. Oh, we love to have. Thank you for helping. And we wonder why he jumps sometimes because we <laughs> let him. Be a Don't jump. It's not good. Yeah, step one. Is it like a fly? <gasps> no. It's a little guy. We were thinking about doing espresso martinis. Is that a glass? But this is for the best. Uh, yeah, I wonder if it's one or two glasses. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. Not for two. Shout out my friend Caitlin. Because she got us these. And we always use them for champagne. I'm scared. <laughs> that was anticlimactic. I thought it was gonna be like, oh, it didn't even pop or anything. Oh yeah, maybe it's like two. Maybe. Yeah. Wait, that's actually perfect. Cause I feel like whenever we open a full bottle, like we never drink never. it all. Yay! That's great. Woo! That's the cutest little bottle, huh? Cheers. Cheers. Happy birthday. To twenty-eight. <laughs> I Ooh, that's good. Mm -hmm. We should tell them we're both dealing with lip things because mm -hmm. my lips are obviously healing. Oh my god, okay, so what? Cause you, oh, in my mind it was a puck to your mouth, but it well, was yeah, a stick. Well, yeah, it was a stick, yeah. Okay, that was round one. There, now we can actually see what's going on. <laughs> Brody's eating his chocolate covered strawberry in here. Okay, you go back. Okay. I thought you were asked, we're gonna be close. Nope. What in the heck is this? Present! Because I know those junky old ones before you left for your trip, and they weren't wrapped or anything, so I was like, no fun at all. Hey, you get down. No more helping. Uh, what do I open first? A little? Uh, or biggie? Little! Little. I'd be careful if you let us. You guys, look at this. Look at this dog, and look at this car. It's the same. Wait, literally the same. He has the teddy bear and everything. I oh. love. <laughs> Max said, you guys don't get to know what's inside. <laughs> it's literally like such a sweet message, not anything crazy or anything. Hello. Imagine it was like rated X, what I wrote in Bye bye Bye. It's not the black nail. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> You're hiding it. Bye. Nail posh. Bye bye. Red. Bye bye. Oh, he hates bye bye. He gets so sad. We'll be back so soon, okay? Okay. <laughs> dinner and I just feel like I need to document this right now because I don't know what's gonna happen um but now I'm really emotional and crying because we literally like just were leaving dinner and driving down the road and I was like Max pull over right now and he was like what what and I'm like I just saw like a furry tail run across the road like that was a dog and he was like no it looks like a skunk and I made him pull down this alley and we found this dog and he's old and like wandering around and it's so cold out and like he we're just hanging out with him and he's really friendly and like I don't know, I'm just emotional because like, 
whose dog is this? And I don't know. I've never like come across a dog like this and I always felt like my one friend who's literally the sweetest angel has found so many dogs and I feel like if you find a dog like they're meant to be on your path and I'm just so emotional because he's wearing a collar but there's no tag or anything. I'm like, oh Max, he's wearing a collar. Just pull out the tag. It probably is a number we can call the owners like he just got out but there's no tag or anything and, and and I don't know he could have been like abandoned I don't know if he has a microchip I don't know what to do in this situation I think Max called the police and the cops are gonna come I literally don't know what to do but I just started crying thinking about the fact that someone could have abandoned him because he seems really I'm not leaving. I'm not leaving. I also feel like it's meant to be that we brought home leftover sweet potatoes from the restaurant because sweet potatoes are like good for dogs and I was like Max he's so skinny and we just gave him some water which he didn't really drink and um he was was he did he eat all the sweet potatoes oh yeah he was eating them so quick because he's definitely starving okay, look how cute he is hi, hi buddy, buddy. Hey, is this anyone's doggy look how cute he is and fluffy and he like scarfed down the sweet potatoes look at the water it's all right We've just been hanging out with him, but it's so cold out here. Aww. Now there's a kitty. <laughs> there's like a zoo in this alleyway. And we're like, we've never been over here. I just met the owner of this house. She was driving by. I'm like, do you know whose dog Come this here. is? She said, no, he's been wandering around for a week. Come here. Oh, man. Okay, so names. <laughs> we're going to need suggestions. <laughs> Of course, Brody's chomping away in the back. You can probably barely hear us. I'm not gonna sob this whole time. Max was just laughing, looking back at that clip of me sobbing. I was not laughing. You literally were like, you're so emotional. But no, I didn't say it like that. I said, you're so emotional. <laughs> I love you. That's Some, one of the many reasons You why. did say that. Context, two seconds before I started filming, Max said, and it really hit me in the moment, which is why I started like sobbing. He was like, this could have been someone's dog that they abandoned. Yeah. And that's when I lost it because I, awful? the thought of that is so we were also down like horrible. An alley. And I took a video, and there was another. There was like a kitty in there oh, too. Oh yeah, a bunch of strays. No, but okay. But see, this is so puzzling to me and gonna keep me up at night because this dog had a collar on, mm -hmm. but no tags. So what does that mean? Yeah, the collar means. It had to have been someone's pet. Mm -hmm. If it was a stray animal its whole life, it would not have a collar on. Do we have stray dogs in like a Yeah. You do? And that was like a city, okay. So also I didn't explain to them. So we were in Easton and we've never been to Easton before. Our first time in Easton, we find a dog. And we've always heard about it. It's not that far from where we live. Easton. That could be his That's name. a good name. So we went there for dinner. We went to Three Oak. Oak. Mm -hmm. Oak Steakhouse, I think three, it's oak, three Oak, whatever. Steakhouse. It's like 30 minutes from where we live. Mm -hmm. And then I think I explained in the last clip as I was sobbing, I should probably just delete them. But um, you saw a furry thing. Run I saw a furry thing run across the road, and I was just like, oh my God, pull over right now. But this is like 30 minutes from where we're from, and we're not familiar with the area and the alleyway. And, and oh, and I told them in the clip too how I was about to knock on this door, but then the owner was there, and she was like, oh yeah, I've seen him wandering around, coming into my yard. But I'm like, wouldn't you want to call the police in? Mm -hmm. I don't know. We didn't know what to do in that situation. Like I said, I called my friend KP and she was like giving me tips when she's found dogs before. And she was like, you could look on Facebook pages for lost dogs. But I was looking like on the way home and it wasn't really turning up with anything. But it was actually good that we called the police because they were saying that I think they have like a list of mm -hmm. dogs that are reported lost. And they said it didn't match like any descriptions. But so what ended up happening you're probably wondering, an officer came and picked him up and was like, yeah, like it's so cold out here. I haven't like seen him before. Um, we haven't heard of like descriptions of him being lost. But what happens in that situation is he brings him to an animal control center kennel, I believe it was called. And he's like, he stays overnight at the kennel. That way in the morning, we can check him for a microchip and see if he's been reported lost or owners come looking for him. But he was like, you can call the animal control center tomorrow and like check in on him. In which case, are we allowed to go pick him up and keep him? Like, we found him. Yeah, I guess. But he has a collar. Yeah, maybe they have to bring it to the... Well, yeah. Like, because Brody has collars without tags. Like, mm -hmm. if I had one of those on and he took off. But this dog wasn't taking off. Like, this dog has got to be 8, 10, 12 years mm -hmm. old. 
slow, so friendly. wandering around, so friendly. He had one eye. Well, one looked really cloudy. No way you could see out of that thing. Yeah, so maybe, like no, you could tell by the way. No, he definitely couldn't because when I was standing on the one side of him, he wasn't even looking at me. Yeah, so and maybe like. And then I came around and then he was like, oh, there you are. Really couldn't see out of one. Could definitely hear us. Oh yeah. And he was skinny. Yeah. He was so furry, so it was kind of hard to tell. But if you looked at like, like his, his chest ribs was and his like a normal waist, size, but then like it just went like really skinny. And like I know how dogs, like Great Danes, obviously are like slim looking. Like you can no, even kind of see that way of the ribs. Was, but like this dog was, was hunger. Yes, and it was like scarfing down sweet potatoes. I just had a feeling that I need sweet potatoes. I just can't believe this happened. Yeah. So we'll call in the morning and see what the kennel says. Maybe bring home our new dog. We always thought Brody would get a younger brother. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> is this any of your dog watching this? Or hopefully the owner is reunited. I really that's, hope. That's probably the goal here. I know. This dog could have, like, wandered out of the house and the owner didn't realize and it's, like, nighttime and, you know, I don't know. But also if it's skinny, if it... Brody, this is not the time. If it like got out of a yard, like if it was outside this late and it's skinny and dirty and mm -hmm. hungry. Yeah. Maybe it, it looks like it's been outside. Wasn't really being while. taken care of. I don't know. Oh, I just can't believe that happened. Everything's meant to be. Cause we like waited a really long time at dinner. Like we didn't sit, like we just like drank and hung out, what, for like an hour? Mm -hmm. And then we like ran into someone we knew when we were leaving. Brody, really? See, this is already not going well. He's already jealous and has to make it about him. That's what I'm like, he's not gonna do well with another dog if this happens because he's gonna be so jealous. But like, I'm like, if we left any earlier or later, we would have not seen this dog run across the road. I don't know how it did not get hit because it is not moving fast. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, okay, that's the update. This is literally gonna keep me up at night. I need to like call first thing and get an update on him. Cause so name suggestions, let us know. Yeah. We don't know what to call them. Easton. I said sweet potato. That was our, our first meal together. Easton. Oak. Three oak. Three oaky. One-eyed Willie. mad eye Moody. Like, is he serious? He loves his dirty old pump. Oh man, it is three days later and I have many updates for you guys. And this was just such a crazy experience and I'm glad that I know more about what to do in this situation now. I would do things differently next time, like not get my hopes up about this talk. So what ended up happening was this is Friday night, Saturday morning, bright and early, I called the kennel and we're like, what's going on? Is he microchipped? Has the owner come forward, found him, blah, blah, blah. And they were like, no, we haven't heard anything yet. He doesn't have a microchip and we're hopeful that the owner will come looking for him. And we were like so sad at this point. On Saturday, I cried all day long. I think the Pisces in me was coming out and I was just so emotional for this dog that in my eyes, I felt like, needed to be mine and <laughs> I was meant to find him and like needed my help and you know what I mean? Like I just wanted to go pick him up right then and there. But um, what you didn't see is right after we filmed that clip, I decided, and I'm happy I did this cause it gave me like a lot of helpful tips. I was like, you know what I need to do is make a TikTok about this because I feel like TikTok just like gets the word out there so quick. I'm like, I really hope this finds the right audience. I hope everyone in Easton is like seeing this and hopefully we can find the owner um, and I just was asking like tips in this situation So I'm like so helpful for all your guys input during this time because we were able to do all the things like Max was posting on the ring app I posted in like lost dog Facebook pages like one of them had like a hundred thousand people in it I'm like, oh my gosh, like we are gonna find this owner So we're doing everything right and then from the lost dog Facebook page. I was getting uh, more information from them They were like you could post pictures of him just so you know finders keepers I guess is what it's called is like illegal in Pennsylvania You have to do like all your due diligence to, like find the owner blah 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 but at this point by like the end of Saturday I was like, okay, like if the owner we haven't heard from the kennel um, if the owner hasn't come forward like maybe they're not looking for them Maybe this dog was abandoned But then I was like looking back at pictures and videos and I was like he looks groomed So I was just so puzzled by all of this and like clearly he seemed really old whatever Okay, so yesterday morning see this is what I would do differently next time is not get my hopes up. So 
by this point I fully have it in my mind that we are keeping this dog and yesterday morning I was like okay Max let's just like call back the kennel one more time because we weren't hearing anything from like all our posts online um I'm like let's just call back the kennel one more time see if the owner has come and got which I named Easton, the dog that we found. Like, I literally named him and I just had it all ready in my head. Like, I was like, let's just call and check because I was about to call my vet and try to get him an appointment, like, bright and early today so that I could get him all checked out. And my sister, I was talking to my sister, like, all day Saturday. She's like, Gretchen, I want this dog. Like, I really want a dog. He's perfect. I want him. I'll take care of him. I don't care, like, if he has any health conditions. He's older, blah, 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 blah. Like, I want this dog. So we were, like, all excited and had this whole scenario in our head. So clearly I need to not do this when this was somebody else's dog but I just uh, I don't know in this situation so I was all excited I'm like I'm about to call the vet Max just call back one more time to make sure so he calls the Easton Animal Control dog kennel yesterday morning and they're like oh yeah we got the owner and we're like why didn't you like calls whatever and Max was kind of upset and was like okay like not trying to be rude but it just seemed like maybe the dog was like left out like why did it take them two days to come? like are they like you know not taking care of the dog properly and they were like kind of stern with us and we're like this dog is 15 years old clearly they're doing something right because he's 15 years old and we're like oh okay like no nothing we can do in this situation and i feel like they were saying that the dog like gets out a lot but i'm like gets out. i don't want to like get myself in trouble here like i'm not trying to like impose or be like they're bad owners you know what i mean i'm happy he was reunited with his owners but then i was just sad all over again like i literally cried so much over this dog like Gosh, damn you being a Pisces, I need to stop being so emotional. But yeah, my sister was really sad too, and we fully wanted to keep him, but um, you can't just keep someone else's pet that you find. So I am happy he was reunited with his owners. That's the update. But yeah, I don't know why they kind of like didn't call us. <laughs> they were like, are you trying to like keep him? They were like, yeah. <sighs> But that's that whole thing. Obviously, I'm happy he's with his owners. I can't believe he's 15 when they told us that. They were like, well, yeah, we found out he's 15. Like, it's not a lot. Anyway, yeah, so that explains the collar and everything. And now it just makes me so aware. Like, like I said, Brody has a bunch of collars that, like, don't have his tags on it. And so I feel like we're just going to be, like, so careful with that because you never know if they can, like, take off and someone buy it. At least Brody's microchipped. I also figured he wouldn't have been microchipped this up. It's so sad we don't even know his name. <laughs> We just were calling him Easton because that's literally what we were going to name him because everyone was like commenting on my TikTok as if it was going to be my new dog, commenting name recommendations because we found him there and they're like, it's going to be so perfect. Like, I'm honestly still really sad about it. I can't think about it because I was just like, the world led me to him. Like, he is going to be mine. Yeah, I need to stop thinking about it because it's going to make me really upset, but <sighs> that happened. Oh, what was I going to say? Brody's microchipped and I was gonna say it doesn't surprise me that this dog wasn't microchipped because he so much older like 15 years ago I don't know if that was a thing but anyway I'm just gonna snuggle this guy really tight I wish you could have met Easton you would have liked him he was really sweet maybe this just means you need a brother huh see what Brody would like Whenever he plays with other dogs, if I'm petting the other dog, he has to like run between me and the other dog because I'm petting the other dog because he's like mad. And I'm like, that kind of indicates that you would be jealous, I think. And if we were to get another doggy. Oh. Yeah. If this ever happened again, I wouldn't get my hopes up. I wouldn't have a whole plan. I wouldn't, like, I literally had a whole time on. I'm like, perfect. I'm gonna bring out of that, get them all checked out, drive into Boston, this whole thing. Oh, I need to let it go. It was meant to be. So, yes, that's the update. Easton. You need to stop maybe calling him that. It's probably not his name. Um, so you know this owner, so that is the end of that. So the end of the vlog here. This vlog has been crazy, took a crazy turn, and it's gotten so long. Um, love you guys so so much. Maybe our next dog we'll get another dog one day and name it Easton to honor this dog that we found. I actually like love that name. I think it's so cute. Everyone's like, it's meant to be. That's like where you found him. I guess it was a name of old hockey brand. I didn't even know that. So they're like, it's like so meant to be. But anyway, that's how life goes, I suppose. Nothing we can do. Love you guys. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next vlog.